Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a dividend stock portfolio update. I have officially hit a milestone, which is insane. Uh, and I'm going to go through that with you. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. And yes, I know I've got a lot of crypto investors on this, but I'm diversified and I wouldn't be called the Wall Street Bull if I was not invested into Wall Street stocks facts anyway let's get straight into it guys massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel i really appreciate it thank you very much if you are new to the channel make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well as you can see right here i love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos dividend stocks growth stocks talking about passive income building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We're just getting started. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolutely magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in a blink of an eye with any investment. So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Yes, this is a dividend stock portfolio update. Guys, I have switched my dividend investing to more of an income generating machine straight up. And the, the soon as I've done that, uh, buying these particular stocks, everything has changed straight up. I was buying long-term growth stocks, you know, S&P 500, which is cool. Nothing wrong with that. I still hold my, I'm, I never sell my stocks, but I have changed my investing strategy to more of an income generated. And I would say monthly generating um, income stocks right there. So I'm going to go through those now. Let's go to my portfolio. This is my uh, brokerage right here, Stake in Australia. I've been using them since day one. Incredible uh, brokerage right now. There is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You will get a free stock in Dropbox, GoPro, or Nike. Of course, with this stuff, do your own research. Now, you can see here my portfolio value is in US dollars. Of course, $43,853.33. It is down significantly, given the fact that there is a lot of macroeconomic global problems in the world at the moment, all right? Straight up. So of course, my value is going to be down. Now, that doesn't mean that my dividend stocks are actually down, meaning I'm not getting paid the dividend stocks, all right? This is why I'm a dividend stock investor and now an income investor because I'm waiting on those dividends coming in. So we'll get into that in a second. But on the day, straight up, I am at a loss of 1,088 USD. And uh, that's quite a big a number right there because the market's closed, you know, Monday to Friday, that's it. On the weekends, they're closed. Now, obviously, on Friday, I still am up 4.66% to $1,951.71 USD. All right, that's still pretty good because, I, again, I bought through all of throughout the pandemic and dollar cost averaged every single week. And uh, that's basically that's the result of that because, you know, when the market was down, oil was literally $0 a barrel, literally. Um, again, I continue to buy all throughout that situation, and I've seen the benefit from that. And this is why people say buy the dip. This is it, straight up. Anyway, now obviously guys, my favorite dividend paying stocks of late are actually these ones here. And I'm gonna show you everything, of course, not Walt Disney guys, but CLM. Guys, this is crazy. This is a close end fund, Cornerstone Strategic Value Fund, $7.98 a share. Its current dividend yield is at 26.65%. All right, that is extremely high. This particular stock and basically all of these stocks, I'm investing for passive income. It's not for growth. And that's what I want to make everyone clear about. The price right here you see here at $7.92. I mean, it's been on a downward movement for the last month or so, 20%. That's a lot. But what's happening is that the snowballing effect is starting to happen a lot sooner, meaning I'm receiving more uh, dividends being paid out. And obviously, that allows me to buy more shares straight up. That's compounding. That's, this is why I love doing it. So this is heavily income orientated, not growth. Okay. CLM, guys, I currently own 1,977 US dollars of CLM, 249 shares of this, guys. My average buy is at $9.95. And yes, I believe this will recover as well, given the fact that there's a lot of macro stuff going on. Now, 
The other one that I'm heavily buying, of course, is a covered call ETF. So they write covered calls on the NASDAQ, and I'm sure I've spoken about this as well, is QYLD, another monthly dividend paying uh, income generating monster, right? QYLD, it is a global X fund. They do have a number of them, which I am invested in. So currently at $15.39 a share, it has a, has a dividend yield of 14.59%, which is insanely high, but it's really good guys, because it pays out every month. $3,208 is my position, 208 shares of that. And again, I'm at a loss, well, obviously, because everything's down at the moment, but this pays out every single month, and I'm going to show you that in a second. So QYLD. Now, the other one that is uh, sort of growth-orientated as well as income-orientated is JEPI. It's a JP Morgan Trust, and uh, it's $51.13 a share, and it's an equity premium, uh, obviously, fund right here, guys. So again, generating income. It's slightly lower at 11.15%. And uh, I currently hold $771.58 of this and 15 shares. So it is a little bit more expensive to accumulate as much, obviously. However, let's just go and see what's happened in the last. So you can see it's had obviously a lot less volatility. In the last three years, it's actually up 2.14%, which is incredibly good as well. Just saying. It's not like an S&P index fund, but again, this pays out every single month and I can't complain about that. Now, uh, what else we got here, guys? Some other crazy stuff that I'm buying as well is uh, Brookfield RA. Now, where are you? Is he down here, guys? Here it is here. Another monthly dividend paying uh, stock, obviously. Brookfield Real Assets Income Generating. Uh, obviously, fund right here, $16.80 a share. Current yield is 14.26%. I currently hold $395 of this, 23 shares. And uh, again, paying that 14% is really nice as well. And this does pay monthly, which is nice. Uh, now, a crazy fund, which again is basically a covered call ETF for the oil uh, sectors, like straight up. It's all it does. It's very, very niche, is USOI. This is insane. All right, so it's X Link's crude oil covered call ETF, currently at $87.73 a share. They did do a reverse stock split. So I basically would, uh, if you had 20 stocks or shares, you would get one. And the price obviously went up to this crazy amount, as you can see right here, because I checked my portfolio the other day and I was like, what the hell is going on? But look at that dividend yield right there at 41.05%. All right, the oil business is insane. I currently hold $484.36 of this. And again, 5.521 shares. Obviously, guys, this was like would have been at like 70 shares. All right, so again, it got reduced, but the value went up straight up. But covered call ETF for the oil, that's it. That's all it does. It's very niche, very, very volatile, but it does play some insanely high dividends. I'm going to show you that as well. Now, obviously, I've got my OGs like ExxonMobil, which again, for me, are still very, very, you know, part of the portfolio. This is my biggest position. Currently at $99.19 a share. I currently hold $10,557.72 USD, 106 shares, and I'm still up 95%. This is what I'm saying. So, you know, these kind of stocks basically have the growth in price. And if I go to the last three years, let's have a look. It's up 46%, which is crazy. Uh, and obviously on the last year, it's still up 58%, which is insane. And on the month, it's up 1%. So I'm still up a lot on ExxonMobil, all right? And obviously, guys, my other favorite here is SPHD. And again, I've been still holding this. I'm not selling, but this is another... Um, you know, basically an ETF that's generating income for me monthly, $39.64 right there, 4.17% uh, dividend yield is very low, but it's steady, straight up it's steady. Now, $4,826 and I currently hold 121 shares of SPHD. If I go to the last three years or last year, guys, again, everything is down. It's still up 0.35% on the week, but that's pretty much it for that, guys. Now, I want to get into my dividend tracking app. No, I'm not affiliated with this, but guys, Milestone there, $5,048.10 a year, which is crazy. I earn $420 a month, $13.83 a day, and my current yield average is at 7.32%, which is crazy. I'm yet to receive dividends from Stag, EPR, and Pebblebrook, uh, Pebblebrook Trust. I think that is, sorry, Pebblebrook. If you want, uh, sorry for that pronunciation right there. And you can see here my top dividend payers, QYLD, pays me $881 a, a year. CLM pays me $857 a year. ExxonMobil pays me $604 a year. 
SPHD pays me $329 a year. USOI pays me $328 a year, even though I've got 5.52 shares. You can see how crazy volatile that is. RYLD is another global X fund, pays me $291. EPD is a midstream company transferring gas and oil, etc. $261 a year. That pays out quarterly. XYLD is another global X fund here, pays $171. And I can keep going right here. And of course, Jeppy pays me 140. Uh, and obviously, I've got some other index funds right here. Brookfield pays me $90 a year, just slowly building up. And you can see why all of that adds up to $5,000 a year passive income. My goal right now is to get at least $100,000 in passive income a year. And I would need to invest $1.2 million in order for that to happen. You can see right there. And again, 47.87% of my dividend income is from miscellaneous companies, aka those um, closed-end funds and obviously the covered call ETFs, all right? And you can see here the portfolio value in Australian dollars now $67,962, which again, I'm not too worried about because I'm mainly focused on that income. Where it gets wild, all right? And this is where you know most of the big investors have made their money holding these stocks and just continuing to put that money back when they get paid a dividend is this, right? Look at the timelines. This is why you need to be invested early. In 10 years, my portfolio is going to be worth $252,000. And again, it will generate me $40,000 in income a year. Now, where it gets really crazy, and uh, this is because of that covered call ETF with the oil. Don't know if this is going to change, but obviously it will, guys. But in 20 years, the portfolio is saying it's going to be worth $7.7 .7 million. And it's going to generate me $2.9 million a year. That's just crazy. All right. And obviously, that's the main part of that is that oil ETF right here. And I, uh, sorry, the um, covered call ETF. Now, I just want to show you right here how crazy this is. And this is no joke right here. But look at the dividends that it pays out. And it varies so much. So my dividend is going to be fluctuating right here. But look at that. At one stage, it paid $5 in June. Obviously, you can see here July, it paid nearly $4 as well. Uh, August, it paid $1.86 per share, $2.54 per share. And of course, $2.64 per share was in October and I did receive that. So you can see down here, guys, where that insane number comes from. If I continue to just buy and buy and buy USOI, you can see right here, guys, basically, if I didn't invest any more of my money, just simply reinvest the dividends, it would in 20 years, it's going to be worth just this holding alone, $3.8 million, and this will generate me $1.6 million in income a year. And I would own 27,899 shares. Just mind blown right there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is how real money's made. This is why I love dividend stocks more than property, straight up. I do. Now, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I wanted to give you an update on my dividend stock portfolio because I think it's very important to document this because uh, one day I'm going to look back at it and think, wow, uh, I've come a long way. All right, so let me know in the comments below if you have any comments. would love to hear your feedback on dividend paying stocks and uh, we'll speak to you all in the next video. All right, stay safe. We'll speak to you soon. Peace out. Bye.